which HBCU baseball program is the best right now, and which one is the most story? If you take yourself out of the, you know, out of the equation. Yeah, I take myself out of the crazy. I would, I would have you would have to say arguably, man, Jackson State, mm -hmm. Southern University. Okay. Um, they, they, they for a long time. I think, and I, if I do, if we go look back on my history, from '84 to 2004, and that's how many years? 20 years. 20 years. I think Jackson or Southern won the SWAC championship like 18 times. No, wow. set 16 times. Wow. Um. So those programs alone, Jackson and Southern have done really, really good from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s up until these last couple of years as well. Um, prior to that, you, you had arguably before FAMU and Bethune got to the um, the SWAT, those were the two fun about programs when they were in the MEAC. Um, they had a lot of success. So you're looking at probably four institutions since the 80s that really stood out, uh, specifically in baseball. You have to arguably throw in Grambling at, at some point as well. So you look at five schools that stood out specifically in baseball for years. Okay. Um, those programs have big leaguers. Those guys have Hall of Famers um, with, with uh, uh, Lucas from, from FAMU and, and um, Raf Gar from Grambling. Of course, Ricky Week being the only Golden Spike Award winner from Southern back in 2003. Um, I think the list goes on and on. Um, and Jackson State with Coach Braddy um, had a lot of great players. One um, that you guys may know, uh, Marvin Freeman, uh, pitched for the, for the Braves for a while. Um, and so th that, if you go back and look at history, man, there's a lot of a lot of players um, that have come through um, an HBCU background when it comes to baseball, man. Growing up, man, K I mean, Kadar would tell you to this day, man, Ricky had two offers, man, out of high school. Um, Southern University and, and Georgetown. I mean, uh, you're talking about someone being the second overall pick um, in the in the 2003 draft and being winning the – for those who don't know, the, the Golden Spike Award is the Heisman in baseball. Um, and so he was one of the, the, the first black and only player to do it from HBCU, man. If Ricky can do it back in 03, we're still talking about being first and, and making making a run at the HBCU in 2022.